Hey, what's going on? Seth here. And in this video, I'm going to give you a guided tour of Stride CRM. I'm going to go through not everything because there's a lot to cover, but I'm going to show you some of the key features of Stride and why you might want to consider it for your land business. The first big thing I want to show you is just the overall system that Stride is and all the different things it can do. One of the big reasons we made Stride was because we saw a lot of different monthly and annual expenses that we were paying for different software and services all over the internet. We were tired of having 50 different tabs open in our browsers for our phone system, e-signatures, texting, email marketing, social media. And we wanted to bring a lot of that into one place and then make it a lot cheaper so we could just get rid of a lot of unnecessary costs each year. We also needed a better way to track all the deals in our pipeline, to automate things whenever possible, to keep each team member on track and on task, and also to effectively track our KPIs and make sure that our business was actually succeeding on a measurable level. And speaking of KPI metrics, that's one of the first things you're going to see right here on the dashboard. And some interesting things to understand about how this dashboard works. You're going to see this standard dashboard as soon as you log in, but there's different versions of this that you can look at. For example, you could look at this from the acquisitions standpoint. And when you come over here, there's going to be different KPIs and metrics, and you can actually change which metrics are included on here. You can go up here and click edit, and you can add things or remove things that you do or don't care about as it pertains to the acquisition side. You can also go over here to the disposition side and you'll see a different set of metrics. You could even add another dashboard if you wanted to and put whatever metrics matter the most to you there. And the bottom line is whether you're more focused on the acquisition or disposition side, or if you want to set up certain metrics for different team members, there's lots of different ways you can keep track of what's going on in your business right from the dashboard. If you've ever used a CRM before, you probably know it takes time to learn how to use that CRM. CRM. It can be a huge time investment. And depending on which CRM you sign up for, some of them don't offer a whole lot of support. I remember one time when I signed up for a CRM, there was basically zero support. I had to pay a thousand dollars out of pocket just to get a consultant to show me how to use the thing outside of the cost of using the CRM. So I'm not telling you there's no learning curve with Stride. It is going to take some time to get familiar with this system, but we went to great lengths to try to minimize the learning curve, shorten it, straighten it out just to help you get there faster. We've got a big library of video tutorials you can check out. And you're also going to get at least two onboarding calls to get yourself into the system, get familiar with where everything is. And you can also get access to 24 seven support. If you ever get stuck on anything as you're using it, all you have to do is go down here, click on this little icon, start a conversation. And if you want help from an actual human to get on a zoom call and have them walk you through what to do live, you just have to ask for help from an agent. Now, one of the big benefits of stride is that you can have unlimited team members members, unlimited deal boards, unlimited contacts, unlimited deals, unlimited storage space. You can load a ton of stuff into your Stride account, and it's not going to increase the price of the software to do so. As soon as you have a list of contacts, or say if you're migrating from another CRM and you want to import those contacts into Stride, all you have to do is go over here to contacts and then click this import icon button, and then click next, and you can drag and drop whatever CSV file you have, whatever information is contained within that. You can map out all the fields and get them all into stride pretty quickly. Another place you'll probably spend a lot of time in stride as a user is the opportunities pipeline or the deal boards. All you have to do is go over here and click on opportunities. And this is where you're going to keep track of all the deals as they enter your pipeline. And as they move through each stage of the acquisition and disposition process, or what I like to call the land flipping life cycle. So once you send out your mail or text messages or ringless voicemail or cold callers, or however you're getting a hold of people, once they enter your system, they're going to show up right here in this column. And this is when it's up to you to get a hold of that person, have a conversation with them. And as that lead either gets hotter or colder or falls off the pipeline, they will move along this stage of the process. You can either manually drag the cards over here like this, or in many cases, they'll move automatically depending on how much time they've been in each stage of the pipeline. By the way, you can actually change the way each one of these deal cards is displayed. You can display it by the name of the owner or by the name of the property or the address or the street or the county, however you want it to look. You can edit that if you want to. That was one thing we saw with other CRMs out there was that they kind of limited how these cards could appear and everybody has a different preference for how they want to visualize this. So 
you have the ability to edit how these are displayed. And speaking of preferences, the way that we set this up is that the land flipping life cycle consists of these five pipelines. And within each pipeline, there are a number of stages. So for example, pipeline one consists of hot lead. Eventually it will become a warm lead and start to cool off. Ultimately, we will either win that lead and it'll keep moving on or it will go in the trash. And then the next stage is the acquisitions pipeline. And each of these stages represent how a deal moves through the process. And eventually we do our final due diligence on it, where we look at all the final details to make sure we're clear on what we're buying. And then we might possibly try to renegotiate and then we either close the deal or we cancel the deal. And after that, we might have some value add opportunities to work on to make the property worth more. And then finally, dispositions when we sell the property and get the property sold. And eventually when we sell everything, all those cards will sit here in this column. But you don't have to set it up this way. This is the way that made sense to me and Mike when we first designed this, but you are free to do whatever you want here. For example, some people might set this up differently where maybe they want to get rid of one or more or all of these stages and instead track it based on which states they're working in. So for example, we could add a pipeline and call it Florida. And then instead of tracking each deal based on where it's at in the process I just showed you, what if we wanted to track it based on which county each property is in or each zip code or the sizes of each property? Anything you want to do is fair game. For example, if we wanted to track it by county, we could put all the different county names of the counties we're working in here in Florida, like Orange, Polk, Alachua, and so on. Then we click save and there we go. Now there is a Florida pipeline. Now we can go back here and we will go and see Florida and we can track deals this way. So even though we created this framework for you because we thought it might make sense, we're not trying to shoehorn you into our way of doing things. If you want to mix and match or add or remove or change up this whole thing, you're welcome to do that. Whatever is most helpful for you to keep track of where deals are at. Now, one of the huge benefits of using something like Stride are the automations. We've built a lot of them for you and you can even build some of them yourself if you want to. If you go over here to the automation button in the left sidebar, you can see all of the pre-built workflows that we created for you right here. And one of the things to know about pre-built workflows like this is that in order to build them, you have to make some assumptions about the way the land business is supposed to work. For example, do you utilize texting in any way, shape or form? Do you send emails? Do you do cold calls? Do you do ringless voicemails? Or do you rely solely on mail? How do you communicate with people? Depending on how you answer that question will determine which of these workflows are gonna be the right ones for you to use because some of them utilize all of those things and some of them might just utilize one or two of them. For example, when we go over here to acquisition, this one right here, for example, contract reminders. So let's say you've sent a purchase agreement to a potential seller. You're asking them to e-sign the document, just like what you would do with PandaDoc or DocuSign. By the way, you can set all that up right here in Stride. So if you're subscribed to one of those things, you can cancel that once you're a part of this. And this particular workflow is set up so that after you send the contract out, it's going to wait one day and if they haven't signed it yet, it's going to send them this email reminder. If they don't respond to that, it's going to wait another day and then it's going to send them another email reminder. And it's going to keep doing that for five days. So it's just one of those things where Stride will automatically stay on top of those tasks for you. So you don't have to remember them and you don't have to make any manual effort to continually remind these people to do what they're supposed to do. It'll just follow up for you. And again, it depends on how you want to follow up. If you want to change this up and have it send them a text reminder instead, you can do that too. But some of these pre-built workflows are in there automatically. So if you want to use them, you can put them to work right away. Now, one thing I had just mentioned in passing there was the e-signature replacement where Stride can basically take out any e-signature platforms that you're already paying for because it's built into it. I want to quickly just show you how that works. If you go over here to payments, so you actually can invoice people and collect Collect payments through Stride as well. But the main thing I want to show you here is first of all, if you go up here to documents and contracts and then go to templates, you're going to get a bunch of templates baked into Stride. This is normally stuff that people pay for when they buy an RE Tips or course or product, but that just comes as part of the package for free in Stride if you're a user of this. But beyond that, I want to show you how you can actually 
use this and send this out and get an e-signature on it. So if you've ever been through the Land Investing Masterclass, this should look familiar. This is one of the documents in there. And you'll notice there are these contact fields throughout. The reason those are there is because it will take this information from the contact that you will have presumably filled out before you get to the point of sending them a contract. And it will auto fill this thing. And you can not just fill in a purchase agreement, but also get the thing signed with a legally binding e-signature in a matter of seconds. It's really easy. I have to do is go up here to use template click on that and then go over here to this drop down and you can select any client that's in your contact list and have their information auto filled in here and now all the information that you've filled up up until this point will show up here and all I have to do is click send and it's in that person's inbox and they can sign it and get it back to you and I'm not sure if you're using something like PandaDoc or sign now or hello sign or DocuSign or anything like that but personally I was paying 588 bucks a year for PandaDoc and this just wipes that out and that's frankly easier and better integrated into your system. So you don't have to go to a separate thing to fill in all that information. It's just part of your CRM. So it's a pretty huge value just right here in the e-signature service that really helps Stride pay for itself with one of the many subscriptions you can eliminate in your existing tech stack. So if we go back here, now another important part of Stride is the ability to set up your website through it. So you don't have to use Stride for this. If you already have a website somewhere else, or if you want to use something else, you can certainly do that and then integrate that with Stride. But if you want to make it just pretty seamless so that when somebody fills out a form through your website, it goes directly into Stride, you can do that right here. And setting up a website through Stride is extremely inexpensive. If you're already paying like 80 or 100 bucks a month at some other service, you can cut that and come right here and it'll be a small fraction of that cost. We have a few different example templates that you can work with and start from if you want to. You can kind of see what those look like right here. This is just the sample. You can put your own information in here. It works just like you would normally expect a buying website to work. If you're at all familiar with how these websites are typically set up, you can change the background images. You can change any of these words. You can change anything you want, but at least you have a basic template here to start with. We've also got this built-in form here on the buying side. So if you have a buying website and you want sellers to submit their properties to you, they can fill out all their information here. It's a two-step form and whatever information they submit goes right into your list of contacts. It will either create a new contact if they just found you out of the blue, or if they're doing this after they got a mail piece from you, for example, it would add that information to whatever is already in your system that you had previously imported. So it works pretty seamless. Now, another thing you can do in Stride is reputation management. I know this isn't something that everybody does, but if you have a Google business listing, for example, you can manage all that right here. You can request people to leave reviews for you. You can monitor the status of your reviews. And Google business listings can make a difference just in terms of people seeing your credibility. So if you want to pursue that, that's very easy to do right here in Stride. Stride also has a mobile app you can download so you can view your CRM from anywhere in the world from your phone. It's through the Lead Connector mobile app. All you have to do is go over here and download it to your phone, whether it's an iPhone or Android, either one will work. And you can check in and monitor your emails. You can make phone calls from your CRM, from your phone. You can see the status of deals in your pipeline if you want. And this doesn't cost anything extra to be able to use this mobile app. Now, let's say you want to make a phone call or send a text message or an email or anything like that from your Stride account. All that is handled right up here in conversations. So this is where you can find the contact you can see all of the previous correspondence you've ever had with them whether it's through phone or email or text it'll show it all right here you can send them a message like this or if you'd rather do this through sms you can do it that way and send the message through that or whatsapp or you could also go ahead and give them a phone call just by clicking this little icon right here. By the way, when it comes to phone numbers, depending on where you're at in your land business, if you're just getting started, this is a great place to buy phone numbers. They're extremely inexpensive. I think it's a dollar and 15 cents per month at the time of this recording. If the price goes up, it's not going to go up much. If you're already using something external, whether it's open phone or ring central or whatever else, you can certainly keep that if you want to, or you can port those numbers into stride. The porting process does take a week or two to happen. This is something that you can get help with on your first tech call once you're onboarding with Stride. And if you're at all concerned about any downtime you might have during that process, something you can do to mitigate that is go down here to settings and go here to phone numbers. And this is where you can buy a phone number in a matter of seconds. It's very easy. And the reason you might want to do this even temporarily is so that you can get a working phone number here in Stride 
And while your other phone number is being ported in, you can set it up so that any calls made to that number will forward to your number here in Stride. So you're not gonna miss anything. So that's one way to kind of put a Band-Aid on it just during that porting process. And then once your number is in Stride, you can continue using that. Now, another thing I'll show you is the calendar section. Whatever calendar system you're currently using, you can migrate that over here to Stride and manage all of that right here, whether it's to book appointments or send reminders, you can manage your Google Calendar from here. If you're one who regularly sets appointments with buyers and sellers to talk them through the process, it's a pretty nice thing to have in here because when you set those appointments, it'll automatically shoot over to your calendar. Just works pretty nicely. So the calendar functionality is a great thing to have in your CRM, whether you wanna book your own appointments or if your team members need to book them for you. And you can set up different restrictions for different times that you are and aren't available and buffer time between events, all that stuff. It's all available right here. Just to show you a quick example, this is for my live account here. This is essentially my Google calendar here. I'm gonna blur some of this out just for privacy purposes. But if you go over here to calendar settings, so these are the different calendars I've set up and you can group these together. So for example, whenever someone wants to schedule a time in my calendar, I just click on this right here and I share this link with them and this is what they see. They can either schedule a 90 minute, 60 minute or 30 minute appointment with me They can click on this and this syncs up with my calendar. They can pick whatever time works for them and me based on the day and the times that I have available. I set this up so that there is a minimum 30 minute buffer time between the end of any event and the beginning of another one. If you're at all familiar with Calendly or any of those calendar apps, you can do the exact same thing and a lot more right here in Stride. When we go down here to marketing, you can also connect all of your social media accounts to Stride too. So if you have a Facebook page or Instagram or YouTube or whatever it is that you use to advertise properties for sale or even advertise your services as a land buyer, you can connect that here. And it's pretty nice because you can send out different posts. You can either publish them immediately or you can schedule them for the future. And you don't even have to go to these websites if you don't want to, because you can control it all from here, including the messenger apps. So if people send you a message through your Facebook page, for example, you can do all that communication in one place right here in Stride. It's pretty awesome. And also media storage. So this is kind of a notable thing simply because you get unlimited storage. As many property photos or videos or anything you can think of that takes up data bandwidth, you can store all of that right here and you're never gonna run out of space. And it's all included as part of your monthly subscription to Stride. So there's a lot more I can talk about here and we do talk about it in the onboarding training tutorial videos, but just wanted to give you a quick glance at what Stride is, how this works, what's available in here, and hopefully just gets you a little bit familiar with the layout and what you can expect once you log in. So. It's a great software. We had a lot of fun building it. We're going to continue making this better and better as the months and years go on. And we can do that once we get your feedback. So if you see something you love about it or don't love about it, or if you see something that's missing, by all means, tell us. We want to know about that. We take that feedback very seriously and we'll use that to continue making Stride better. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us and hopefully we'll see you soon on the inside.